and welcome back to one of our library videos. This video will show you how and why to search Google Scholar and set up your preferences for that. Um, to get to Google Scholar, you just type in your URL, scholar.google.com. And Google Scholar has a lot of advantages to it. It searches open access resources on the web so you can find articles and scholarly resources for free. It searches um, other databases that we might not have access to, so you have ways to find articles that you might not otherwise find. And it also connects to our library resources um, so that you might find articles from our databases through Google Scholar in a way that you might not otherwise just because it searches terms and uses different words uh, just like any other database. So once you get to Google Scholar I'm going to show you an example of a search and then how to set up your preferences and why that's an advantage. So say you're just doing a, um, a search on Title IX. I was helping a student with this the other day. And so you just type in your keyword searching just like you search the web and you can see it searches a number uh, again of different kinds of resources. You can sort here on the left um, by date. You can include or exclude citations and if you look here one of our first hits is from ENC EBSCOhost Full Text and you can click on that and it actually will take you to um, uh, to a library database that has this journal article and which is fantastic and there it is okay and how did how did I manage to do that let me go back to uh, I'm gonna hit the back button here um, you can see a number of these uh, say ENC next to it but also here are some free items uh, that you can get so how to do that is that you go over here to settings this little drop down menu and there are two things that you want to do. One is that you want to show links to import citations into RefWorks if you have a RefWorks account and that is really handy and you hit save. And then over here on the left you go to library links and you type in Eastern Nazarene College and as you can see I already have those clicked but if you search um, uh, you can click on those, hit save, and again this is on your computer at home. If you're on campus it'll automatically do this, uh, but on your computer at home set up those settings so that Google talks to our databases and you will be all set to search through Google Scholar.